Hello, I'm Scott McIntosh, and this is How to Set Up Skype. To get started, go ahead and bring up Internet Explorer. You can do this by going to your Start menu and clicking on the Internet Explorer icon. My Internet Explorer defaults to Google, and you can actually go ahead and search for Skype right in the Google search bar by typing in Skype, S-K-Y-P-E. You can see here the Google results are shown, and Skype.com is the number one result. You can actually click on that result, and that will take you directly to Skype. Or if you like, you can type in www.skype.com in the URL window at the top of your screen. Once you're done typing, just click Enter, and this will take you to Skype.com. From Skype.com, you want to click Join Skype. Skype will allow you to then create an account or sign in if you already have one. We're going to go ahead and create a new account and I'm going to type in my first and my last name and then I'm going to type in an email address. Now I created this email address just for this demonstration. There are some other sections that you can fill out here but you don't have to. So for now, we're going to leave them blank. We're going to scroll down to Skype name. Now when you click on the Skype name box, Skype will go ahead and recommend some names for you based on the name you typed in above. I'm just going to select the default name, scott.macintosh24. Now if you want to, you can try to edit that name a little bit, perhaps use your middle initial and take out the number and see if Skype will let you use that name. The only rule is you can't use the same name as somebody else. So I'm going to type in a password between 60 and 20 characters, including letters and numbers. Then I'm going to scroll down, and I'm going to deselect by email so that Skype doesn't send me any marketing emails. And then I'm going to type in the security captcha phrase that Skype uses to prevent spam. Once I've typed in that phrase, I'm going to click I agree, continue. Skype has an offer here to purchase some credits, but you can use Skype for free. So I'm going to say not now, thanks, and then click continue. Now that I've created an account, I want to go ahead and download Skype directly to my desktop or laptop. I'm going to go to the menu button that says get Skype. Skype gives you some different options for different types of computers you may have. I'm going to click Windows. And I'm going to choose the Skype free selection by just clicking download. So right now, Skype has alerted me that it's ready to download to my computer. And I can go ahead and just click run to get everything started. My computer is going to run a quick security scan. And then the install Skype window is going to pop up. I'm going to go ahead and agree to Skype's terms and conditions. And now my computer is installing Skype. Once Skype's installed, it's going to ask me to log in with the account I created earlier. My username is already the default, and I'm just going to type in my password. I'm also going to select Sign Me In When Skype Starts, so I don't have to remember my username and password every time. Just click Sign Me In. Skype will now give you the opportunity to create a profile picture by accessing your webcam. Just click Take a Picture. You can adjust this picture, and if you don't like it, you can try again. Now we'll take the picture again, and we're going to go ahead and use this picture. Don't worry, I'm going to show you how to change this picture later. For right now, we can start using Skype. You are now ready to start using Skype directly from your desktop. You can go ahead and close your browser. This is your main Skype interface on your desktop or laptop computer. Just to show you, you can close this at any time, and you can open it up by accessing the icon in your bottom menu bar. Typically, Skype will also install an icon on your desktop. You can access it there. or Go to your Start menu and find Skype there. If you can't find it, you can always search for it. 
Skype will always open up in this window. I'm going to go ahead and expand it. And now it's time to adjust our profile a bit. Just as I said, you can change your picture at any time. Instead of using my webcam this time, I'm going to browse files on my computer and use a picture from my desktop. You can adjust this picture as you see fit and then click use this picture. That looks a little more professional. You can also update the other information in your profile at any time. Once you're done, go back to Skype Home, and now it's time to find connections on Skype. You can do this in two ways. The first way, click Find Friends on Skype. Skype will now give you the opportunity to connect with your friends from Facebook, Hotmail, Gmail, Microsoft Outlook, MSN, or other services. Skype will look through your address book and let you know who else is on Skype. Another way to do this and the way I recommend is just click the Add a Contact button in the lower left-hand corner. This brings up a basic search field so you can search by email, phone number, full name, or Skype name. As an example, I'm going to enter the email address of our social media expert, Sam Sudano. All I have to do is enter her email address, and then click Add. You can see that Skype alerts me that one match was found. I can personalize my message and then click Send Request. Sam will then receive a notification that I've requested to be her contact. You'll see that her name is now located here in the left-hand column. Once she connects with me, I can select her name and video call with her, call her regular number, or some other options, such as add multiple parties or send Sam files. I can also communicate with Sam through the Skype messaging system by typing my message here and then clicking send message. Once I'm done communicating, I can close this window. Once I'm done with Skype, I can close it as well. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to set up Skype. Thanks for watching.